This video is the first in my new series for 30 days of code. So this is part of HackerRank and every day I'm going to be releasing a solution for one of these numerous challenges that you see on my screen. So the first one is called Hello World is the one at the top here. And right after that, I'm going to be publishing the video for day one. So for Hello World, because this is just an introduction, what I want us to do is to save a line of inputs from the standard input stream. We save the input into a variable and then we print hello world that is supposed to be a hard coded string on a single line. And then finally, we print the value of the variable on a second line. So when you begin this challenge, I believe that the top here is going to be given to you already. So they have this C++ string. They are calling it input string. They read a full line of inputs. That is why they are using the get line function and not just C in. So once they update this variable here with the user inputs, they go ahead and they print the hard-coded string, hello world. Our task here in this challenge is simply to add this line here under this to do comments. So here I'm using C out and I'm printing the value of the string. Now notice that I don't have to do something like std colon colon because at the very top here, if you go into the text editor and you drop down this mini arrow, they have using namespace std. You can also use printf if you prefer the C style of coding because this is C++, so it will also work if you use C code. But before I show you the printf option, I'm going to run this code here in C++. I've just passed the test case. So I'm going to comment this out now. And here I'm going to write printf. I can use the S format specifier just like this. And then here I type the name of my variable, which is input string. That is the same one here at the top. But because this here is a C++ string, we're likely to get undefined behavior if we try and print it using printf, because this here is a function in C. So we want to call this C underscore str method on that string. And that is going to return us a constant char pointer. You can read more about that here on c++.com, C str, just like this and it returns a const char pointer. So back here, I'm going to run this code now. And we've also passed this test case. So I'm going to revert now to my C out option right here. I'm going to uncomment this line and submit this code. And we are done with this challenge. So in the next video, I'm going to cover day one. But in the meantime, please subscribe to this channel and drop your comments in the comment section. I'll catch you next time.